China's homegrown Comac C919 has just landed a game-changing customer that no one saw coming. This landmark deal is shaking up the aviation industry and challenging Western aerospace giants like never before. The C919, long touted as China's answer to Boeing and Airbus, is now in the hands of a buyer that could redefine its global reputation. So, who made this shocking purchase and what does it mean for the future of aviation? The Comac C919 marks China's biggest aviation industry move beyond national borders to compete against Boeing and Airbus in the global aerospace sector. The early 2000s brought the birth of the project because China wanted to both grow its aviation market and become technologically independent, revolving around domestic airlines who rely on imported aircraft for their operations. Beijing saw the C919 aircraft as a dual-pronged tool to break connections with Western air fleets while displaying dominance. Building commercial aircraft from ground zero demands tremendous effort. The aviation industry operates as one of the most technologically challenging sectors through its demands of precise engineering and strict international safety compulsory registrations. During rigorous testing, COMAC encountered multiple substantial obstacles because domestic technological expertise remained limited and supply chain relationships and global market recognition proved difficult to establish. Government funding and policy incentives maintained the program through all of its tough times. The C919 represents a narrow body jet that directly competes against Boeing's 737 and Airbus's A320 series, which command top position in worldwide air traffic operations. Equipped with a 3,452-mile flight radius, the C919 offers seating for 158 to 168 passengers to satisfy short to medium-range travel needs. Aircraft in this segment require a compromise of operational flexibility, reliability, and fuel efficiency from airlines. Its modern avionic systems and advanced aerodynamic design enabled the C919 to meet these customer expectations. The C919 aircraft endured numerous postponements because of licensing obstacles and technical problems before obtaining type certification from Chinese aviation authorities in 2022. The aviation authorities' formal certification of the aircraft brought China officially into commercial aviation manufacturing while establishing favorable conditions for more industry acceptance of the C919. The C919 aircraft entered commercial operations when China Eastern Airlines accepted its initial delivery as the program's launch customer. As an aircraft, the C919 serves as a key component of China's economic strategic vision alongside its geopolitical targets. According to China's Made in China 2025 strategy, the country plans to develop domestic mastery of critical high-tech industries, which enables it to minimize future dependence on Western technology. China aims to gain market share in the aviation industry with its production of the C919 aircraft, despite Western manufacturers' historical dominance. China's aviation market is one of the fastest growing in the world with rapid urbanization, an expanding middle class, and increasing air travel demand. Forecasts suggest that China will surpass the United States as the largest aviation market by 2030. This growth presents a massive opportunity for Comac to establish itself as a key player in the industry. The C919 offers China an opportunity to create thousands of jobs, boost technological expertise, and position itself as a global leader in aircraft manufacturing. Crossing this milestone of successful C-919 aircraft production brings national pride to China's political sector. Government authorities in China use the C-919 plane to demonstrate the measured advancement and independence of the nation's technology sector. Multiple Chinese aerospace companies, together with academic institutions, have engaged in a joint mission to develop and produce the C-919 aircraft. As COMAC crosses each major development threshold, China gains a stronger position as an independent aircraft manufacturer that challenges the Western aerospace company's monopoly in global markets. For years, the aviation industry assumed that the primary operators of the COMAC C919 would be domestic Chinese airlines such as China Eastern Airlines, Air China, and China Southern Airlines. These state-backed carriers were expected to play a key role in ensuring the C919's success by integrating the aircraft into their fleets and providing valuable operational data. However, in a shocking turn of events, a major international airline has stepped forward to purchase the C919, sending ripples through the global aviation industry. Sources predict the potential buyer is Emirates, which functions as one of the leading region's carrier airlines. 
As an airline that emphasizes aircraft innovation alongside exceptional traveler comfort and optimized efficiency and costs, Emirates prioritizes its operations. The C919's insufficient reputation and market possibilities may experience substantial shifts if this major Middle Eastern airline becomes a customer. Due to its long-standing partnership with both Boeing and Airbus through wide body models Boeing 777 and Airbus A380, Emirates has maintained their loyalty for many years. Through C919 integration, Emirates demonstrates its intention to reach new short-haul and regional market opportunities by deploying this new narrow body jet. This unexpected purchase raises several questions. What drove Emirates or any international airline to invest in the C919? One possible explanation is the rising cost and ongoing delays in production from both Boeing and Airbus. With the aviation sector still recovering from the disruptions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, airlines are looking for alternatives that offer better value and faster delivery timelines. The C919, with its competitive pricing and shorter lead times, presents an attractive option for carriers seeking to expand or modernize their fleets without waiting years for Western manufacturers to fulfill backlogged orders. This strategic partnership linking China and Middle Eastern nations became a key element that influenced this decision. China's economic partnership and diplomatic relationships with Gulf nations experienced substantial growth during the last decade through investments in energy supply, infrastructure development, and trading alliances. Through its strengthening diplomatic ties, China directly supports its aviation industry by providing desirable financial solutions along with beneficial leasing conditions combined with extended theoretical maintenance service. Besides their flexible financing options, low interest loans along with leasing choices and extensive maintenance packages define the C919 as a financially practical solution for airlines in cost-centric markets. Asian airlines have a strong reason to choose new C919 planes since the purchase costs are significantly lower than what Boeing or Airbus models would require. Operating benefits form an intriguing part of the C919 capabilities that catch attention. The aircraft maintains operational excellence because of its efficient fuel consumption combined with a versatile flight range and innovative flight control system design, which suits smaller flights within close or regional distances. Emirates' main focus on long-haul flights may lead to significant changes if the airline adds the C919 since it could indicate plans to operate regional routes throughout the Middle East and African and South Asian routes. The C919 enhances airline flexibility by allowing them to serve high-demand routes economically, which establishes it as a strategic asset within markets needing strong efficiency metrics post-pandemic. Despite the recent breakthrough of securing an international buyer, the COMAX C919 faces a host of formidable challenges that could hinder its global success in market penetration. Entering the competitive commercial aviation industry, which has long been dominated by Western manufacturers, requires more than just an attractive price point and government support. The challenges facing the C919 span regulatory hurdles, operational reliability, global perception, supply chain vulnerabilities, and after-sales support, all of which could determine the aircraft's long-term viability in international markets. The regulatory certification process sponsored by key aviation regulators represents a major challenge for the C919 aircraft because the Federal Aviation Administration in the USA and the European Union Aviation Safety Agency have yet to approve it. Type certification granted by China's Civil Aviation Administration fails to satisfy regulatory standards that global airlines need. The C919 needs approvals from leading international regulators to realistically expand its global market reach since its absence creates limited international flight capabilities and operational constraints. Achieving FAA and ESA certification is no small feat. Western regulatory agencies have some of the strictest safety and operational standards in the world, requiring exhaustive testing and compliance with hundreds of technical criteria. This process is not only lengthy and expensive but also politically sensitive, as tensions between China and Western governments could further delay or complicate the approval process. Boeing and Airbus, with their long-standing relationships with regulators, enjoy an advantage in this area, having built trust over decades of experience. For COMAC, gaining regulatory acceptance will be an uphill battle requiring continuous engagement, transparency, and improvements in quality control. The recent purchase of the COMAC C919 by an international airline is nothing short of a paradigm shift in the global aviation industry. 
For decades, the commercial aircraft market has been dominated by two Western giants, Boeing and Airbus, whose stranglehold on the sector has made it nearly impossible for new entrants to establish a foothold. The emergence of the C919 as a viable competitor signals a major disruption to this long-standing duopoly, and its acceptance by an international buyer is a validation of China's growing influence in the aviation sector. Beyond obtaining new aircraft, the deal reflects substantial changes within the worldwide aviation business. The entry of the C919 aircraft into global markets represents a major shift in recognition that Chinese aerospace manufacturers can create aircraft that achieve international carrier requirements. The airline acquisition represents growing airline industry tendencies toward manufacturer diversity because companies seek risk reduction, cost efficiency, and market exploration capabilities. For more than half a century, Boeing and Airbus have been the undisputed leaders of commercial aviation, controlling over 90% of the market for single-aisle jets. Their dominance has allowed them to dictate pricing, production schedules, and technological advancements, leaving airlines with limited choices. However, with the entry of COMEX C919 into international markets, airlines finally have a third option, one that comes with competitive pricing, modern technology, and the backing of one of the world's largest economies. The commercial entry of C919 aircraft created radical changes in Boeing and Airbus's existing operational strategies. The C919 offers airlines a sustainable option that can create rising market pricing dynamics in addition to delivering aircraft more rapidly and preventing economic risks. Selected setbacks from the 737 MAX crisis continue to affect Boeing, while Airbus experiences production limitations, which drive both companies to work on new product developments and customer relationship enhancements to preserve their market leadership position. The reduced pricing also translates into lower financial risk for airlines looking to expand or replace aging fleets. Instead of committing to the costly long-term investment required for Boeing or Airbus jets, airlines can experiment with the C919 as a complementary solution, offering regional and short-haul services without overburdening their capital expenditures. If the aircraft performed well, it could open the floodgates for further orders, gradually eroding Boeing and Airbus's market share. China extends its aviation development initiative beyond the C919 program. The aviation company COMAC seeks to construct larger aircraft as part of its development blueprint, which includes cooperation with Russian aerospace manufacturers for building the CR-929 wide-body jet. Successful C919 development will create the momentum needed for China to fast-track its upcoming aircraft generation while expanding its travel market reach beyond regional distance. The success of the C919 will generate innovations throughout the full scope of China's aerospace sector. Boeing and Airbus stand to develop eco-friendly and fuel-efficient aircraft from increased competitive pressure, thus advancing industry sustainability. The airline industry will gain from diverse product options while technological competition leads to continuous advancements in performance limits and economic viability. Many airlines, particularly in developing countries, may now view the C919 as a strategic alternative that aligns with their nation's economic partnerships with China. Countries that have received significant Chinese investment in infrastructure, trade, and technology may be more inclined to incorporate Chinese aircraft into their fleets, seeing it as part of a broader strategy to strengthen bilateral relations. Furthermore, the C919 purchase could be viewed as a challenge to Western economic dominance in the aviation sector. As tensions between China and Western countries continue to rise, especially in the realms of trade and technology, China's ability to offer an alternative to Western manufactured aircraft could have long-term implications for global trade patterns and economic alignments. These regions block airlines from easily obtaining access to inexpensive financing and maintenance capability. The alternative financing support from the Chinese state that Beijing extends towards strategic partners makes the C919 more appealing with its cost-efficient and modifiable profile. COMAC aims to attract major market shares from these developing aviation sectors. China's financial institutions, which are backing the C919 program, could offer attractive leasing terms that make it easier for smaller airlines to acquire modern aircraft. This shift could create new opportunities for airlines that previously struggled to afford new generation aircraft, leading to greater connectivity and expanded air travel options for passengers worldwide. The international purchase of the COMAX C919 marks a major step in challenging Boeing and Airbus, offering airlines a cost-effective alternative. While hurdles remain, this deal signals China's growing presence in global aviation and could reshape the industry's future. Thank you everyone for watching. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.